3D. It's the new red, the new green, or whatever color's in style right now with your clothes. It's what's in, essentially, at least according to all the marketing hype. It seems like everything's going to 3D nowadays. You've got it in your phones, you've got it on your TVs, you've got it in your game systems, which particularly for the Nintendo 3DS, Nintendo regrets doing. You even got it on your cameras. Now, for anybody who's wondering, um, would I ever use anything three-dimensional? No, I would not. A couple of reasons. The primary reason being that I have monocular vision, so 3D is not useful to me at all. But even more so, 3D... Let's look at it this way. The first 3D television. Now, keep in mind, this is for a TV. They wanted, I think, somewhere between two and five thousand dollars for a TV. Seriously. Now, the stereoscopic 3D used in the Nintendo 3DS is the type of 3D that you don't need glasses to view. Unfortunately, it gives you um, headaches because of prolonged exposure. Those types of headaches are the same kind, by the way, that many people with uh, with uh, visual difficulties often have after a day at work. It depends on their condition and the stress that they have to go through. So for those of you who are experiencing this just for the first time, lay off on the 3D seriously because um, vision is something precious that you should not, you know, you should not be forced to lose. Um, so, uh, okay, I'm getting off my ho fo um, soapbox about that. 3D is honestly a marketing term, and for those of you who have seen demos of the 3DS here on YouTube, you may have seen that if they try to turn the 3D on, all you see are a bunch of lines and you really can't see much. That's the exact same kind of view that I get when I try to turn on the 3D because I don't have any 3 I don't have three-dimensional vision. I cannot see out of my right eye at all. So the 3DS is really, I'm not surprised that it's flopped. The only real reason I would even consider the game system now is because of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And I would never turn on the 3D version. I would just be happy to have it portable. Um, which is why I was extremely upset that they didn't bring it to the regular, the regular DSi and DS Lite as well. As far as cameras, for those of you who do not know, I am in the marketing. I am in the market right now for a new camera, and it's definitely going to be an interchangeable lens model. I just haven't decided what format to go with yet. Um, for those of you who have been watching some of my previous videos, um, right now it's a race between the Sony Next 3, the Next 5N, and possibly the Alpha 35. Um, I have not managed to take a look at the Alpha 35 yet, and of course the 5N is not out yet, so. Until those, until I get a chance to look at those, um, it's still going to be up in the air, but for the moment I'm on the C3. Regardless of what I get, though, I can guarantee you, this 3D lens here, I would never mount it. I would never mount it on any body, no matter what. Sony's got an adapter, for instance, that I could get for the C3 and mount micro four-thirds lenses on it, like this 3D lens. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I honestly think that this 3D thing has gotten out of control. What do you guys think? I mean, I haven't seen a single camera with a 3D lens on it out in public. I have not seen a single 3D phone out in public. Nor have I seen any 3D TVs in anybody's home or anybody say to me, hey, I've got a 3D TV set. As far as the 3DS, again, I think the only real reason people are going to be getting this is because of Zelda and Mario 3D Land more than likely having the 3D turned off. In fact, um, if you go to technobuffalo.com right now and scroll down through their, uh, through their um, blog posts, there is one that essentially states investors are really pushing Nintendo to take their games and move them to the iPhone and iPad platforms. Um, this 3D thing, I think, really has. It's, it's gotten out of hand. But what do you guys think? Is it marketing hype? Is it useful? Is it stupid? I think it's stupid. Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome, and have a nice day.